All right, so here it is, my 3D printed Mini Z chassis, 28 scale, 27 scale, however you want to look at it. I've got this uh, Corona Digital Servo 919MG. It's actually much quicker than the um, servo I bought over at Hobby Works, which is this, uh, this E Flight here. If you can see that. Right. Um, I don't think the E Flight's made for RC cars, so. Uh, okay, so I've got the uh, GoGo Lap. I've got the $17 brushed uh, ESC. I've got the uh, some 300 milliamp 7.4 volt lipo batteries, or lipo battery, I should say. One put in there. I've got the reflex front end on it this time. That way, I could have the suspension set up where it's not um, dependent on on the uh, spring mounts and that kind of thing and being real accurate so I could just kind of be lazy about it. And of course it's uh, adjustable for the camera but I actually have it all the way out. And you can see that it actually it still has a bit of camber in it even adjusted all the way out. So, But I actually like the suspension pretty well. So I like it pretty good. Uh, stock motor, stock diff, stock mount. I think it's a a six tooth or eight tooth on it's a six tooth and um, works pretty well let's turn the switch on here nothing's like glued down or screwed down or anything like that you, so you can see it's kind of floating around all of this stuff is just for the sake of doing it right so we do it until it works and then we get then we push it to the side and work on something else to the servo it's fairly quick obviously this is a video so it might look a little bit faster and I have the uh, throttle settings down I think the high point set to um, I think it's only like 90 or something like that and uh, the thing about this ESC is you can actually put it all up to 150 and you can see a difference between 150 and 100 and of course 50 and that kind of thing so uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now is set the camera down for like two seconds and see if I can put the body on. I'll run around the track. Oops. <laughs> the common occurrence. 